Hi, Tiff from Saspeer. I'm going to take you through a pregnancy workout. You're going to want to wear something comfortable, have a bottle of water to drink, and something to use for a bit of weight. Food cans, bottles, or if you've got dumbbells or bands, they would be perfect. Okay, let's get started. We're starting with a warm up. We're going to do a few movements, a couple of circuits to bring our pulse rate up and to get our joints moving and our muscles warm. When you're pregnant, the main thing is don't work too hard and we don't want you to overheat. Listen to your body. If your joints don't feel good, anything doesn't feel right, slow down, take some rest or stop the workout. Okay, we're gonna start with 30 seconds on each movement. Start with walking on the spot. If like me, you have trip hazards, all over your living room, like toys. Just tidy those up first before you get started. Keep the movement small to begin with. If you're feeling a little wobbly, if you're quite heavily pregnant, just take this slowly. Walk slowly on the spot. If you're in the earlier days, maybe the spiky second trimester, make that march a little bit bigger. Okay, we're gonna move into a box step. Step forward, step back. Step forward, step back. So I am obviously wearing jeans, not normally the perfect attire for exercise, but this is going to be quite gentle, okay? So if getting changed into your exercise kit is going to stop you doing it, then just do it in whatever clothes you are wearing. And if you're quite pregnant, probably jeans, not going to be ideal unless they have a tennis gym. Okay, turning it into a heel dig, step, step. So we're just stepping forward with that leg, tapping the ground with the heel. Again, if you are quite late in your pregnancy and you are feeling quite heavy and big, you may feel a bit off balance, in which case just slow this down and go with what feels good, but if you can go a bit faster than do. Okay, we're going to do a step and reach to the side. Step and reach, step and reach. Go at a pace that feels comfortable. It's going to start to mobilise the spine, the shoulders, the hips. You should start to feel your breathing a little bit heavier now. Okay, we're going to do all of those again one more time. So back to walking on the spot. If you need to take it slowly, go at your own pace. If you can, pick up the knees a little bit. Walk a little bit faster. Good. If at any time you feel a bit dizzy or faint, you just don't feel right, just sit down, stop, take a bit of rest, have a sip of your drink. Okay, we're going to take it to the box step. Step forward and out, and then step back. Again, if your balance is feeling a little bit off, just slow it down, and you can make the steps smaller. If you can do a bit more, go for it. To our heel digs, tap the heel forward. Now if you can, begin to bend that base leg a little bit more. Again, if you are late in your pregnancy and you're a bit top heavy, don't go too low. Or if you need to, you could hold a wall or you could put a hand on a chair to help you balance. Or just keep the movement smaller. If you can, just start to dip that leg a little bit. 
last round of twist and reach. Again, a little bit of a knee bend if you can, reach out if you can, if not, keep it slow, keep it steady, keep the movement small. Okay, that's the end of our warm-up. We're going to do a little bit of mobilisation now. So, some arm circles and some trunk twists. Arm circles, gently, slowly bring the arms up overhead, back behind you, and then all the way around. Don't overstretch this. When you're pregnant, you have a hormone called relaxing in your body, which makes everything stretch ready for birth, and to help accommodate the pregnancy, but it can mean that your joints overstretch. So anything that involves stretching, don't push it too hard, just gently go through the range of movement. Stretching out of chest is really good. It's an area that gets really tight through pregnancy, and once you're holding those darling babies, they do pull us forward, okay? So keeping open here is really key. Feet on the hips, we're gonna go into our trunk twists. Keep the hips pointing, towards the wall in front of you, hands up under your chin, and you're going to twist gently, twist gently. Again, the back can all sort of tighten up and seize up a bit, all the sitting and feeding once baby's here, and when you're pregnant, sometimes you just feel rubbish, you just got to sit down on the sofa, your back can just tighten up a bit. One more to the left, and we are back into arm circles. Good, again, if you're feeling a little bit off balance, just slow it down, go with what feels good. But any time you feel a bit unsteady, stop, take a break. Have a sit down if you need to. And one more. Good, and back into our trunk twists. Gently tuck the tailbone, gently pull in your belly button. Once you're in the third trimester, that gets really tricky. You sort of lose contact with your abs a little bit because they're quite stretched. But just gently brace your abs and it does help support your back. One more, arms down and rest. Okay, we're mobile, we're warm, we're ready to go.